Ooh. Namaste. Welcome back, my way on this divinely guided day, Soul Tribe family. I love you and the divine loves you. Okay. To the new family members, welcome, welcome, welcome to the I'll Be in 1111 Energy Soul Tribe family. Okay. Where I, you know I love you and the divine loves you. I appreciate your continued support. through your likes, your shares, your, your subscribes, uh, hitting your notification bell, passing on the messages, um, all uh, uh, donations, any contributions, my monthly members, I love you. Better believe it, baby. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, I, when I say I love everyone, I mean my soul tribe family as a whole. When I say that, that means everybody. So never dis, never not think I'm not speaking to you, but I do know that verbal recognition is needed, okay? All right, quick disclosure, I do curse, I do speak the truth, and I do call out names when guided too, okay? Um, with that being the case, uh, let's go on and hop right in. If you have yet to subscribe, but you're always over here, uh, do so at this time. It'd be greatly appreciated, especially if you're coming over here just to be nosy. You, yeah. If you ain't gonna pay to be nosy, then go on and subscribe to be nosy. Okay. Thank you. Divine creator of all living things, protect myself and the soul tribe family during this read all reads and all the time, as well as provide us with clear and concise messages, clarity, guidance, and intuition and discernment. Any negativity that is thrown or projected at myself, the Soul Tribe family, I ask that you clear, cancel, and release it as we too clear, cancel, and release it back to the universe for the universe to do exactly what it needs to do with that energy. Okay? Ashe, and thank you. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Um, I, you know, I kind of want to feel like, uh, <sighs> I don't know why the divine said this earlier and I, and I just forgot it. And then it came back to me. Let's see, because I feel like there's something coming up within the next three months or you're planning for the next three months. That's what it feels like to me. feels like you're planning something for the next three months, something to happen within the next three months. And that is literally going to start on the 1st of October. OK, this plan that I'm picking up now, it may not be your plan, though. OK, so take what resonates, leave what does not and flip the roles as you see fit and don't try to make it your script if it is not. OK, um, but yes, tomorrow starts the 1st of October. OK, so we are on the 30th. I'm going to tell you all right now. There's an energy that I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Let me see. There is an energy I'm picking up on, and it's like this three months. I don't know what it is about three months, but there's something in three months, which is definitely the new year. So let's start off. Huh. Okay, I heard that too. And let's start off the journey. All right. What's going on in the next three months? Because I'm picking up... Um, This could be pertaining to anything in your life, family, okay? This could be pertaining to anything in your life. Um, dang, Spirit says start with one of these, okay? I'm not going to let y'all see what they are until they come out. Okay, this one just wanted to come up. What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Damn. This is what came out, y'all. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It might kind of be difficult right now. Let me see if I can get it to focus. No, it's not going to focus. So it does say, what is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Yeah, I'm telling you. Um, mm -hmm. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel that there is an energy coming towards you. Um, and this is a friend, okay? Um, a friend is someone who is, my father used to say, if you have one friend, you're wealthy. If you have two friends, you're the richest person in the world, okay? This is, what is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. You have a friend, 
this friend may be revealing themselves in the next three months. Something about the next three months, though. I feel like somebody is coming towards you the beginning of the year to start a full cycle. Yeah, shine bright. Shine bright like a candle. And then it goes on to say, you will make it. Oh, y'all, that's real tiny. Yeah, you will make it through this. Number 36 breaks down to nine. I feel like, and you're an artist. Uh-huh. You may even be living by water, near water, or you are um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy out here. You could also be air as well. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Because you see the water, the fire reflecting off and you see the air around her head. Okay. You're an artist. Okay. Literally, you may be an artist that uses a paintbrush. Okay. But if you are an artist, you can be in, in, in music, okay? You can be in um, acting, uh, drama. You know, you're an artist, though. And I feel you've taken a lot of art classes growing up in school. You were, on the, you were in the band, you were in the choir, or you were in the, um, you know what I'm saying? Step teams, you were the cheerleading type. There's artists now, look, I'm telling you. Even, um, yes, there's an art to being an athlete. You better believe it. Stamina, okay? So you're an artist. There is an art. There's an art in everything that everyone does. That's why they call it a method to the madness, right? Because some people have a method to how they're able to function and get things to roll in the way that it needs to go. And this method is something totally different. Somebody else would look at that like, what in the hell? But it works for you. You're an artist. You're a creator. Mm. Someone's coming in. Yep, someone's coming in with that message. This is the message. I'm going to put it over here, y'all. What is, okay, maybe I should keep it near me in case I, yeah. What is a friend, a single dwelling in two bodies? A single soul dwelling in two bodies is the answer. What is a friend, a single soul dwelling in two bodies? Okay, a single soul dwelling in two bodies. Holy crap. Y'all sharing a soul. Okay. Do not drink the poison. Okay. Nurture or uh, nature communication. And then it's always teach. It's always tea time. I swear I shouldn't be getting stuff where the cursive don't look like cursive to me. But okay, it's a half ass doer. I get it. All right. What is this? Yeah. Do not drink the poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. Boom. Okay. This is part of uh, letting your light shine. Okay. Shining bright like a candle. Okay. Then you have up here. Yeah. Ugh. Nature. Communication. Uh, what does that say? Flower energies. Fairy energies. Mm. Elemental messengers. Okay, you may be that. You may be a fairy. Mm -hmm. You may be a messenger of the Most High. And then it says it's always tea time. Mm. Eternity, endless moments, and repetition. Okay. Okay. Mm. I feel like um, you have three months to get prepared. For this new encounter. Yeah, what is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Yep, and look at the bottom of the deck on the shuffle. Look at that where I look what it says. Clock time. Time pressure in a rush. I'm telling you. Something's coming up in three months. Okay. You're meeting someone. I feel like you're going to have three months to get your shit straight. Because this is coming in regardless. This is coming in regardless. I hear you, spirit. This is coming in regardless, y'all. Whatever this is, yeah, it's coming in regardless. We got out here the Seven of Wands. 
something about you, you know what I'm saying? Being persevering. protecting territory type energy. You've been in that energy for a while. I feel that. I feel like you've been, you know, uh, protective. I don't want to say on the defense, but protective. And yes, can leap into action. You could be in the emperor energy, Aries. Y'all, you'll see I'll be shuffling. This be a whole hot mess over here. Because <laughs> these cards are stiff. They don't bend like other cards, but okay. What is this? Clarify this shine bright like a candle, please. And thank you, spirit. Clarify this shine bright like a candle. Okay. Mm. There's a king of wands out here that's in the reverse. This somebody's very impulsive. This is some this is the inner this is the characteristics and energy of repulsiveness, ruthless. Okay. Someone who's forceful. This could be your energy. As a hard worker, mm -hmm. you work uh, hard. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm picking up from there. I saw a hard worker, but you're also impulsive and you're ruthless. Mm. You can have some sort of forceful energy, like forces things on people, forces your forces your way, forces your way in, etc. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I feel there could be somebody that could be doing that as well. Like I said, there's an energy here. Now, don't take what I say to be you, okay? Because I am speaking to the energies that be looking because ain't no way in hell I got over 900,000 views and you telling me these people ain't coming back looking. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. These is uh these kind of people, empresses in reverse, yes. There's a lot of people that are watching you. Mm hmm. You may have some sort of creative block. This feels to me like this. This could be somebody trying to project onto you. Mm -hmm. Projection. Yeah. Very bearing, overbearing. OK, um, negligent, smothering in some cases. Yeah. Smothering you trying to just be in your every moment of whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like um, you shining bright has brought the demons out. <laughs> okay, you shining bright brought the demons all the way to your front door out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it brought the demons out of hiding. Mm hmm. It's what spirit is saying. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in three months, that's going to be the new year. Yeah, in three months, look what they, look, we see they plan. Hey! <laughs> look what the demons is planning in three months. Y'all, look. You got, um, the six of wands in the reverse. The nine of wands in the reverse and the judgment in the reverse. Okay. Let's see what this message is. Take it how it resonates. Okay. It now you got the judgment in the reverse. That's about um. Some sort of unfulfilled lesson. Ignoring and resisting the universe. Okay. Mm. Because of that. You got the nine of wands in reverse. Um. That's about struggle. Ah, Spirit said, okay. Really? Don't drink the poison. Confirm with the judgment in reverse. 
this was an um an unfinished lessons or some sort of self doubt or self loathing. Don't drink the poison. Failure to learn lessons. There could be a test coming your way. Don't fall for it. That's what Spirit's saying. Don't fall for that. Um, don't fall for it. And then nature communication. Okay. I feel like You communicate with source, okay, on a higher level, right? These people do not. They're very low vibrational. They only listen to their um, emotions. Their emotions are very hateful, cold-hearted energy. So they're only listening to their emotions. They're very rigid. These people refuse to compromise at any cost. You met one yesterday, Jerry. I'm looking at him like, yeah, full on, full on attack. These people are, are this type of energy. That's why Spirit is saying, don't drink the poison and be aware of these type of people that have the judgment in the reverse because these people, they failed to learn a lesson. Spirit's warning you that they still, you know, hey, they failed to learn a lesson. It's time for you to go hard, Soul Tribe family, and standing in your uh, power and standing your ground. Because you've already um, surrendered to source. You surrender to the universe. You surrender to the almighty, the most high. Yeah, baby, I can't lie. Look, you done went through it. You done went through a symbolic death for a miraculous rebirth. You are stepping into a new beginning. These people haven't learned yet. That's why this came out with uh, the six of wands in the reverse. They hadn't learned yet. But they about to, they're going to have to retreat. Mm -hmm. And I feel that you've defeated these people so many times that they're in fear of failure. Mm -hmm. That's why it's always tea time, because they already know it's always tea time. You ready to go at any moment. And they know that your go is go. Then you had the, yeah. Yeah, the, the you've been dealing with a queen of wands and empress uh, energy in the a king of wands, excuse me, in the reverse and empress energy in the reverse. Yeah, that shit's over. Now it's time for you to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Isn't that Rihanna's song or whose song was that, y'all? You know, I'm not really up on the who sings what. I just like the songs. I don't really be trying to trip on all that. I'm not a fan. You know, look up the word fan. It comes from the word fanatic. <laughs> Message. For some of you that don't know. Okay. <laughs> but you got out here the uh, three of swords. Okay. Um, I feel like spirit is going to allow you to release some pain. I feel like that is what's crossing this um, death card of symbolic death for a miraculous rebirth. Bringing in new um, changes. Okay. But through being resilient, you're going to be able to let go of the, some pain. You're going to be able to let go of some pain. A lot of pain and suffering. You're going to be recovering from that. This is going to be a full, complete year of healing because I feel like this year was the year of finding out a lot of stuff that you really didn't know, couldn't fathom, and was like, are you for real? This shit exists. Uh, quick disclosure, I do curse and do speak the truth and do call out names who got it too. These motherfuckers really do this type of shit? Damn. <laughs> you was like, what? Because it's something you would never fathom. Oh, yeah, they do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Corruption is real. You thought it was fake. Yeah, corruption is real. And they get creative when it comes to their corruption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this judgment in reverse, please. And thank you. And thank you for the messages thus far. Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. what? Baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> Spirit said bringing in that balance to this bullshit. Mm -hmm. I ain't lying, and that's the truth. Bringing balance to this. Woo, woo, woo. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Because these people failed to learn there was divine intervention coming in, bringing in balance, and spirit is saying that is the truth. And they have witnessed the forces that ride with you through these towers. I ain't lying. Ooh, look at this. Through these towers. Now the towers come out with the action. Yeah, they have witnessed the forces that ride with you through these towers. They have gone through tower moments. You may have um, experienced tower moments and alchemized that energy and flipped the script on them. Those tower moments cause you to take action on a king of pentacles energy, possibly mm -hmm, for them betraying you. And see, they appear to be face up. They appear to be um, in the upright, but you know them from the past, spirit is saying. Yeah, there was divine intervention that came in on these on um, this last tower that hit Mars energy Aries out here, Cancerian energy with the chariot with a king of um pinnacles. This is this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy to the public eye. They look like they in the upright, but behind closed doors, they in this energy, 10 of swords energy. This is a motherfucker that'll cut you deep, cross you over. Cross, cross on you like a mofo. This is somebody that you knew from your past or somebody from your childhood knew from the past. I feel like that's where this nurture of communication came in, y'all. Because with this 10, of, uh, with this, excuse me, nine of wands in the reverse with this struggles and shit, this was what was causing you these tower moments. Because these people was constantly coming in messing with you and what you did you took action on that shit mm -hmm. and when you took action it was pertaining to a king of wands who appears to be in the upright but really his energy is ten of swords crossing you betraying you uh causing you crisis uh causing you uh deep failures and deep wounds this is a sadistic motherfucker this is the person that was hiding in the dark they got they found out about you through a childhood friend like this king of this king of pentacles right here that's got this mask on OK, there's a king of pentacles around you with a mask on. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. OK, you know, that uh, Capricorn is the sign of the devil, period, point blank. That's the energy of the devil. That's toxicity. This king of pentacles is definitely in that energy with that ten of swords. OK. Um, this could be somebody you knew from your childhood, but. It's always tea time because you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. They know this about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may have always been some sort of kind of private person, private to a certain extent. Like people just can't say they just know this and know that. And if, and if anything was said about you, you know exactly who said it because you ain't just out there like that. You know exactly where it came from because you ain't just out there like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why the hangman is in the uh, reverse. Mm -hmm. You started, uh, they, you know, they, they, they were trying to cause a lot of delays in a lot of ways, a lot of stagnation, okay? Um, they wanted you to sit in some sort of victim mentality, but you just aren't that way. I feel this energy knows that about you. This is somebody that you know. Mm -hmm. And look, y'all, you may not have seen these people for years, but they be watching you on social media and shit. You know, they watch you through other people, and it's just weird. But people do that kind of shit because they want to see where you come, where you're at in life. And then with this clock time at the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like uh, you're waiting to move on. Mm -hmm. And I mean, literally, like this is giving me the energy, like move on away from folk, like all the way away. Whole nother state type thing. That's why three months is here. That's what I kept hearing. Three months. And I'm like, okay, cool. Three months. Y'all getting ready to vamoose. Yeah. And then the Knight of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. Yeah. You find where you're at to be boring. It's a stuck type of energy. It's dull. It's risky to be in this motherfucker. <laughs> You know, you don't trust nothing moving. You don't trust nothing moving. 
<laughs> you look at everything sideways. You don't trust the uh, so-called. See, they're used to. I grew up, and I man, it was like you know, I used to be happy to you know see an officer or something like that. You know, you be all happy like, dang, they here to help. They they good guys. Fucking bullshit. What the fuck was I raised to believe? Because people ain't here for you like that. See, that was you. That was you living in a. Uh, I'm gonna depict this energy off of the uh, off of the food car right now. That was you living in in La La Land, straight up. When we was a kid growing up, tell me we wasn't living in La La Land. Very innocent. You know exactly who these motherfuckers are now. Mm hmm. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't be cursing this early in the morning, but yeah, yeah, no. I wake up spicy. Sometimes I come in hot and sometimes not. If you have yet to subscribe, subscribe at this time. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, take a look at the description box. Mm -hmm. I feel like in three months, yeah. Yes, there's going to be a lot of giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. I feel like you getting ready to make a move, baby. I can't make it up. You about to make a move. I yes, I but there's going to be a lot of giving and receiving okay within three months okay this is going to be of your energy this is going to be of your um your uh gifts if you have gifts you're using them you could be an artist you're getting ready to pick it up you're getting ready to shine bright like a diamond i feel like this is why this uh this death card came in because it's getting ready to give you a new beginning uh huh. Because see, right now you could be there's something that you're doing. And I feel like this this giving and receiving you have been experiencing, it was to help you out when it came to this toxic devil energy. Mm hmm. When it came to this oppression and this abuse, someone may have been aiding you to free yourself from that. I feel like they see that you're working hard as hell and you've mastered not just yourself, but your skill, your craft, your artsmanship, craftsmanship. You have a very high standard. You have high qualities. There's something about you like you really bringing it. You ain't playing. You bringing it. Yeah, look, mm -mm, baby, with the moon and the star, yeah. Mm -hmm. these people fear that you really know their secrets and these people are in fear because they understand that you know what the unseen is you know the unseen you know the unknown you know what other people just would say never existed and you the star energy so you bring back hope and renewal Miracles and rejuvenation, faith, North Star energy, that you know your purpose. You're very clear on that. You're an inspiration to people, very positive and healing energy. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you enter clarity. In the next three months, I feel like, you know, yeah, you're going to be being assisted to get the hell away from them because you are you are a master at your art. You are a master at your art. Mm -hmm. You're a master at your art. Yeah. Look, I ain't lying. You see that? Where did he go? Where that king of pence? That king of pence is right here in the upright. He was working with a king, queen of pence in the reverse. Mm -hmm. This queen of pentacles. Yeah. There's somebody who's always depressed, always feeling down, very low vib vibrational. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've always had some uh, imbalances uh, when it came to um, balancing out their happiness, their inner child. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who's very vain. This queen of pentacles um, is extremely selfish, unkept, mm -hmm. wild and, uh, you know, unkept, trying to keep up with the jo Joneses type energy. Um, you got Capricorn out here, a very greedy person, jealous, very jealous energy here. Mm -hmm. 
that and and the king is the one and look look <laughs> look look on the split y'all they be trying so hard to nature communication they cannot you are a mastermind you're a master manifester you manifest what you need you go to source and you ask for it these people been trying to always block that they didn't want you to have any love they didn't want you to have anyone um any emotional feelings for anyone they wanted to make you cold-hearted and you're not you just ain't got time for that you don't have time for that and that's where they wanted to put you that's why they put you through all this it's over. It cannot follow you. Spirit is saying, this is going to be look on the split. Damn. Spirit is saying on the split. Now we just did this and it came out in the reverse. Now it's in the upright. Yeah. You are a master manifester. I'm telling you. Here's your truth. Okay. With this queen of swords out here. Here's your truth and clarity. Okay. A lot of truth and clarity. Um, when it comes to this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Cups is unconditional love. It's unified love. And it doesn't have to be with somebody who's a lover. It could actually be a love for your art, your passion, your skills, whatever it is you do, your creation. Yeah. There's a love there. Spirit said, do this. Oh, really? I don't even know if I can do that like that, but okay. Definitely. You've been dealing with a lot of dark forces that um, they're rich because they do people dirty and they put people um, in bad situations, but they've profited off of them. They've profited off of these people. That's what Spirit is saying. They have profited they came messing around with you, family, and found out you are the prophet. You are the prophet, and you do speak into existence what spirit tells you to speak. You a sayer. Mm. These people, uh, they mask have been snatched, and they're going to keep getting snatched, and they really about to get snatched. Over the next three months. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse has been revealed. They know who this Queen of Pentacles is. Okay. They know who this King of Pentacles is in the upright. They know who this King of Wands is in the reverse. And they know this Empress energy in the reverse has a lot to do with this Queen of Pentacles. You're dealing with a lot of people out here. You're dealing with over. You're dealing with. Hundreds and hundreds of people out here. Mm -hmm. And this it, this is news coming in fast. Mm -hmm. You're very focused. You could even be known as a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. And they see this partnership that they got to and put everybody up on. That shit is a breakup. I told you. <laughs> There's a breakup. There's a separation. There was disharmony here. There's a breakup in this mess. Right. Mm -hmm. All that you were carrying on your back, mm -hmm. you free from. Some people about to get rocked over the next three months. Okay. So hold on to your energy. Cleanse your space constantly. Keep your head and your vibrations high. Don't have nobody around you that's low vibrational. Okay. That's how they get in. Keep everything high vibrational. Okay. All right. So family, I think I'm gonna leave that message here for you. Hopefully it resonates. All right. Um, Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I am grateful for all of the contributions that you are already doing um, with the like, shares, and the, sus the subscribes, okay? Um, the uh, monthly members who have joined, I appreciate you and I love you, okay? Um, to my A1s who are my day ones, I love you and I appreciate you, all right? All right, y'all, I'm going to go on and I'm playing with this. Yeah, see, I told you there's a lot of players in this. As I play with the deck and turn it over. Yeah, there's a King of Swords too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn.
Do you know what I don't really see? And now we got the Ace of Cups, but I don't see any cups in the negative energies. So I'll go over those signs again. You got your Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay? Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Um, that I'm seeing being, you know, these individuals, their characteristics, they're in the reverse, though, okay? The only one standing in the upright is the pin king of pentacles, and that's because he got to put on that front for that money. But he's working with a queen of pentacles in the reverse. That's his uh, dark counterpart. Okay, so there's your hint. There's your uh, notice, <laughs> all right? So let's get ready to get it for the next three months, all right? So Tribe Family, I love you, and the divine loves you. Divine, at this time, I ask that you keep in our lives love, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, peace, protection, and respect, and all the time. Ashe, and thank you. And until next time, you know what I love to say. Namaste.